Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Do Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. You know, I am I'm, I'm here, and I'm kind of mystified. Uh, we're about two hours and 15 minutes right now from kickoff. Uh, I've got my meats and stuff ready to get cooking. It's a little too soon to cook it. Um, I've got the studio all set up here. You know, I, I have no idea how many people are coming. I know my cousin Kurt said he's coming. Uh, I believe E2 is planning on coming. I think even Rashid is planning on coming. But we'll see who gets here for tonight's game. The thing that has been missing is this has been Eagles Cowboys hate week. And Philly 500 seems to be missing in action for the most part. I know he said he was sick, you know, last week and we were worried about him and stuff. But this is hate week. And I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the hit job for Philly 500 that hasn't come. I, I've been looking at his channel um, and, and trying to find out what's going on. And listen, hey, I, I've been humble. You know, this is the NFC East. It's our own division. Anything could happen in a game like this. So I am just like, you know, I just want to get through this thing tonight and uh, see what happens. I'm not going to do any bold predictions. I'm not talking any trash. But I was curious because, you know, Philly and being quiet are two things that normally just don't go together. The only thing I could find was this, I think, from Saturday. <laughs> oh, big one! Oh no, that was. Oh, he fumbled. He fumbled. Oh shit! He still fumbled. Oh, he. He's going on. Slay. Oh, now he's about to lose his mind. He hasn't seen the play yet. He hasn't seen the play yet. Sorry, that was the wrong clip. Um, yeah, that that whole thing. That's uh, the way he. It, it, we're gonna call that the the eagle meltdown dance. That that's the eagle meltdown because that, that's a classic Philly. Y you are always great for those meltdowns but on a serious note this this game is important the giants look like ass and uh washington so much for that great defense i believe they're the 31st scoring defense right now in the nfl 31st not where you want to be so really this game is for the division lead right now and you got to feel like if you've gotten this one you should be feeling pretty pretty good so I've been looking for Philly 500 to get commentary. And this is all I could find. I think this was actually from Saturday night. Um, he was doing a little talking as always. Why it was frustrating? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's why? because the Eagles had their opportunities and could have won that game. But they let it slip away by their own mistakes. And that tells me one thing. They're good enough to play with the Niners. They're good enough to play with the stinky Cowboys. Yeah, the Cowboy missed wow. the claim. Bring the, the Americans heat. Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. Scary Cooper, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> that was crazy! These intros are classic. Hans. Dallas still stinks! You might do it! How you doing? Right here, and you know what? What? I gotta say this. Well, first of all, let me say this. I hope each and every one of you dingbats are doing well out there. I hope you're getting ready to enjoy a great weekend. Mm -hmm. I know I am. Cannot wait. I am so excited about this week of football. Um, starting on Sunday with a triple header, which we're going to be doing a yeah, live stream yeah. of. Then, Monday night, the big game, the colossal game. matchup, the Philadelphia Eagles, the team of freedom and goodness versus the satanic star, the Dallas Cowboys, the chicken sacrificing voodoo doll mother humpers, the Cowboys. We're going to go face them. This is a match of good and evil, no question about it. And I will be putting out my preview prediction video 
on Saturday. It will be coming it didn't out, come out on Saturday. It didn't come I'm out. I'm waiting a little longer to see exactly what the injury report is going to look like. You it have guys like out. we've all heard Jordan Malata. Most likely, he is not going to play. Now, some people mm -hmm. are going, oh, he's officially been ruled out. No, he hasn't. Most likely, he will be, but there's still like a little chance until he's so officially out. Me he's not officially out. That's how I see it. Even though he most likely is out. You see what I'm saying? You know, that's dingbat logic here. Not Mark Holmes logic, dingbat logic. <laughs> dingbat logic up here, Mark Holmes logic down here. Okay? Uh, but I will have my preview prediction video out. I just want to see who's going to be in, who's going to be out. Miles Sanders, he's limited to practice. I want to see where he is too. So Saturday will be my preview prediction video. I'm not sure when you're watching this video. It's either Monday. late Friday night or Saturday itself, but Monday it will night. be out. Um, now, I kind of, I kind of, uh, uh, wait, wait, I got to get some things off my chest. Oh, okay. Okay, especially with the Eagles, especially with this whole week leading up to this game, and and just the things I've heard, the things that I've been thinking about while I was sick, laying in bed, rewatching the game. You know, because uh, it, you know, it feels like. A lot of people felt that air go out of the Eagles on on Wait some, last Sunday. Where's the confidence? And that was a tough day. It was a very frustrating day. No question about it. Um, but here's kind of how I look at this game with the San Francisco 49ers. I've watched it three times now. And it, it's hard to watch. Especially, you know, it, it going into the second half, late in the second quarter to second half. Um, but, you know, the way I see it is, Week one, the Eagles go and they play the Atlanta Falcons. They dominate them um, on offense. They dominate them on defense. They, they put a good beat on them. Now, you may go, that's Atlanta. They stink. But, yeah, they yeah, do. They but do. we had to go into Atlanta where we've struggled in the past. Okay. Even when I, they I'm, I'm going to end it there. So, so this was Friday then, evidently, and haven't really seen anything from Philly. Um, as he put it, the team seems to be, you know, the fans checking out and not quite there. I, I don't know what's going on. This is I, I've never seen somebody who already seems like feels like they are defeated. I mean, look at that face. Look at that face. Uh, I mean, look at that face. I don't know what's going on. But Philly, you know, I'm getting ready to live stream you. We got the Philly meltdown cam. It's your team against my team. It's for first place. I, I, I just bring the energy. That, that's all I'm asking, Philly. I, you, you've been kind of quiet this week. I need you to be the man that you are. And good luck to you and your team. And like you said. What are my chances? Not good. You mean not good like one out of a hundred? I'd say more like one out of a million. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> yeah! So she's telling you there's a chance, buddy. All right, so with that being said, you know how we roll. Our coach here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe for the Sports Report. I'll be live in less than two hours. See you there. And all the thing else I got to say is, how about this? See you tonight.